Hi boys and girls, Mrs. Hallman here with the morning announcements. Today is Tuesday, December 8, 2020. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. It looks like today's weather is going to be cold like it was yesterday, but nice and clear. We have General Tso's chicken, carrots, and fruits for lunch today, or you can have a turkey and cheese sandwich. If you're planning breakfast for tomorrow, there will be a banana muffin with apple slices. We do have two special birthdays to celebrate today. Leila Jimenez Mendez in Mrs. Gibbs' class and Braden Pruitt in Mrs. Weldon's class. We hope you have a fantastic sixth birthday. Today's read aloud is Mrs. Lingo reading one of my favorite Christmas stories, Mooseltoe. Before we do that, we're going to go over our school rules. Please repeat after me. I promise to A. Act safely B. Be a friend C. Choose manners and D. Do my best. We hope you have a great day of learning. Enjoy the story. Good morning. I have a special story to share with you today called Mooseltoe. I hope you enjoy it. It's one of my favorites for this time of year. The author of this book is Margie Palantini and the illustrator is Henry Cole. Mooseltoe. Twas the season and Moose was merry. He joyfully tickled the ivories with a tune full of tidings and a flurry of fa-la-las. He was so full of ho-ho-hos, even his moustache had the holiday spirit. But Moose was more than a, just a bit merry and bright. He was busy, busy, busy. There was a lot to be done on his list of to-dos, but with orderly organization and a bit of regimentation, lots of imagination, and just plain old moose know-how, getting ready for the big day should have been simple, easy. Yes, in all probability, just perfectly perfect. And here you can see moose has a very long list of things to do. He wasted not one merry minute. Moose got moving and put some hustle into the holiday bustle. He went to work. He wrote cards and letters till his hooves hurt. Check. One thing off his list. He shot till he dropped. Check. He hauled home boxes and bags and presents galore. Moose had gifts for, for everyone stacked from the ceiling to the floor. Check, check, check. Then he wrapped, yo, yo, yo. And he ribboned, ho, ho, ho. And on each and every package, he tied a big, beautiful bow. Check and double check. So far, so simple, so easy, so perfectly perfect. Another look at the list and Moose headed for the kitchen. He pulled out the pots, pans, and bowls, sifted through stacks and racks of cookbooks. He whisked with his left, spooned with his right. Moose baked tons of tins of cookies, Check. 
dozens of cakes, breads, and sweets. Check, check, check. He made jellies, sticky jams. Moose roasted a goose and some chestnuts. He toasted marshmallows and yams. Check, 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 triple check. Yes, yes. So simple, so easy, and but of course, so perfectly perfect. Decorations were up next on his list of things to do and get done. So Moose decked the halls, then spruced up the walls. He beaded, bowed, and mistle toed. He gathered garlands, roped wreaths, and holly, jingled bells, sang noels. Oh, good golly, this moose was jolly. Check, 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 check. Sounds like his list is getting shorter. Last but not least, he hung all the stockings, each and every one with special care. And just in time, too. Soon, Santa would be there. Check and final check. Yes, sirree, getting ready for Christmas was an absolute snap. And so simple, so easy. And if he did say so himself, Moose thought totally, utterly, completely, Perfectly perfect. On that night before Christmas, Mother, Little Sissy, Bucky, and Junior looked all through the house. What a job Moose had done. Everything looked bountiful, festive, quite fine indeed. There was just one minor problem, if you will. Oh dear, sighed the missus, as the five stared at one empty corner. Oh my, oh me, oh gee. Pop! What happened? cried Junior. You forgot the tree. Uh-oh. Oops! Where would they hang the tinsel, string the popcorn, light the lights? Where would Santa leave his gifts for the kitties on Christmas Eve night? So Moose pulled on his galoshes and put on his hat. He would find a tree somewhere, somehow. And that's all there was to that. So out went the moose, braving blustery blowing winds and the cold, trudging through snowdrifts, courageous and bold. Moose first hoofed it down to the corner, not a tree to be had. Uh-oh, things are looking bad. He went down every boulevard, street, and little road. He looked down lanes and alleys. Every tree had been sold. There wasn't a branch, not a twig, not even one lousy bowless bow hanging around. Nope, nada. Nothing, not a tree to be found. No tree, sighed a sad moose as he came home empty-handed that snowy eve. The kids tried to make the best of it. They said, oh, so who needs a tree? But moose could plainly see they were short on glee. He knew he had to do something, and that's just what he did. In the empty corner, he stood and spread his arms out very wide. Then he smiled at his children, and he winked at his brides. Kids, he declared, fetch your forgetful pop, some of that tried and true family glop. The kids wrote a note to Santa. It says, Dear Santa, we don't have a tree, but leave presents here. And they drew an X on the floor. So back came the kids carrying a big pot of glue. And without a word to one another, they knew just what to do. They each took a part, grabbing strands, taking hold. Then carefully, oh so carefully, they glopped and they plopped. 
They pasted and they pressed. They curled and twirled every which way a follic could fathom until Moose's magnificent moustache was indeed even more of a marvel to see. I wonder what they're doing with his mustache, his moose stash. Moose was just a few needles shy of being an every evergreen tree. They strung Moose with lights from his head to his toes and draped him with tinsel beginning right with his nose. They hung balls that were shiny and bells that twinkled. Candy canes, berries, and plums sugar sprinkled. Then they all stood back. Junior plugged in his pop. Ooh, ah, yes, Moose was truly one incredible sight. He was glorious and glowing, and boy, oh boy, was he ever bright. They turned his moustache into a tree. Then Junior placed the star on top of Moose's head, he gave him a kiss and a pat, and they all headed off to bed. Except Moose, of course. He stayed in the corner instead, still twinkling and blinking and waiting for Santa. Oh, so it wasn't so simple, and it wasn't so easy. And okay, okay, it wasn't so perfectly perfect. But do you know what? It was pretty close. I see two sets of eyes. I see moose and this one, and it says, ho, ho, ho. I hope you enjoyed my story, Moose'll Toe. Have a great day.